Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. So friends, in this class we will be learning the selection sort which is uh, one of the easiest uh, sorting techniques and simple sorting techniques. Uh, so, so far we have learned two types of uh, sorting techniques in our previous videos. Now, uh, one is bubble sort, another one is insertion sort. So, this is the third kind of sorting technique. So, I'll I'll, I'll first explain the logic, working logic of the technique. The smallest element is selected from the unsorted array, and uh, we're going to swap that element with the leftmost element, right? And that element becomes a part of the sorted array. So here we are going to um, apparently divide the element into sorted array and the unsorted array. Basically, we are given the unsorted array. When we done the first iteration, uh, the first element becomes the part of the sorted array. So let's go and do it practically. So here it is the simple array of five elements. Now we are going to implement the selection sort on it. First, we are going to find out the smallest element in the list. So let us check. So so 20 is the smallest element because uh, so far I have checked the first element uh, so uh, I will remember this as the smallest element so I am comparing 20 with 90 so still 20 is uh, the smallest so now 10 so 10 is less than 20 so 10 is the smallest 70 is biggest 50 is also biggest so far we have found that 10 is the smallest number so we go and interchange its position with the first element right so by doing this we are done with the first iteration and we have got the first element in the beginning so this part is now 10 has been sorted and it has taken the first position so we are we have got four elements in the unsorted array so go and find out this uh, smallest element here 90 20 is the smallest so there are few elements I will quickly uh, jump into the next iteration right okay so now this is the sorted path so this is really works how we really think right how we human thinks so is 90 smallest no 17 no yes 50 is smallest let's go and interchange uh, so remember here we are swapping the elements only in the unsorted part we are not touching the sorted part right when we are going to swap the elements right now this has been sorted so there are just two elements just swap them okay sorry sorry for that because 70 is the smallest we are not going to swap it uh, we keep it as it is and now the list has been sorted right 10 20 50 70 and 90 so let's go and look at the C programming code for selection sort. So here is the code and we have got nine elements to sort. Right. Uh, we will run this loop starting from i value 0 uh, uh, when uh, until i remains less than size minus 1. Right. That means 9 minus 1, 8. Okay. So that is fine and this for loop is for checking the minimum uh, value that is for checking the smallest value in the list right and this code is for the swapping the elements so a of i always indicates the first element uh, of the list right in the sorted list so this indicates the first element in the unsorted list we just take that element and put it in the temporary variable and that position will be occupied by the minimum or the smallest element and uh, the position emptied by the smallest element will be taken by the temporary variable again right so let us do it practically yeah so here are the two variables min and temp right whenever i is 0 uh, we initialize the minimum variable with i so now i is 0 that is what we have got here uh, so uh, we store the ith value in minimum so a of min is currently uh, pointing to the first element right so we're going to start searching for the smallest element 
so we start by i plus 1 that is 0 plus 1 because in the first pass we are assuming that the first element is the smallest we go and check that element with the all the other elements now j has got 1 in it now a of j is this first element and a of min is a of 0 right so i has got 0 a of 0 is pointing to the 0th element and a of j is a of 1 that is pointing to the second element so we first check the second element with the first element is a of j is less than a of min is 30 less than 20 no then don't initialize the min just go and change the value of j increment j now j has got 2 in it right so because j has incremented its value before it was 1 now j has got 2 so a of 2 is this is a of j is less than a of min is 80 is less than 20 no go and increment the value of j 3 so now j a of j is pointing to the third position third element so is this 10 is less than 20 yes a of j is less than a of min now we'll store the index uh, the value of j in min so now min will be uh, 3 and j is also 3 now a of min is pointing to this position because we have found the 10 as the smallest element so let's continue our process uh, we'll increment j value now j is 4 j is pointing to this one is 50 less than 10 no increment again j 5 now j is 5 is a of j is less than a of 3 no increment jth value is j of 6 is a of 6 is less than a of 3 no again go and increment so is a of 7 is less than a of uh, 3 no let's go and increment now j value has got 8 in it is a of j is less than a of min no right so what we are doing here whenever j reaches 8 position 8 is less than size 8 is less than 9 right so we are coming out of the loop so whenever v comes out of the loop the status of the list is this right so now currently a of min is pointing to the smallest element now a of i what is i here 0 a of 0 will be stored in the temporary variable right so this 20 will be stored in the temporary variable and that position will be occupied by the element which is which is pointed by the a of main see a of i will be occupied by a of main now this will go here and the content of temp will go inside a of main right so these two values have been interchanged so this this so now I can say I've got one element in the sorted list, right? So now the second pass, now i is incremented to 1, right? So whenever i incremented to 1, j, is, uh, j will get the fresh value 1 plus 1, now j is 2, now i 12, now i has got 1, so min will get 1, and here j will get 1 plus 1, that means 2. Now now a of j is pointing to this position and a of min is pointing to the first element I mean the uh, first element of the unsorted list right is a of j is less than a of min no go and increment the j value now j is 3 is j uh, is a of 3 is less than this yes it is a of j is less than a of min so once we get this we'll put the j value in min that is now min is 3 right so now this is pointing here right let's go and check the uh, increment the j value now j is 4 so a of j will point to this one is a of j is less than a of min no go and increment j value is a of j is less than a of min no go and increment the a j value is j of is a of j is less than a of min no a j now j is 
now j is 7 this time also no this time also no right so now we have got the new minimum element right so we will simply take the a of i that means a of 1 right so this will go into the temporary variable a of min will go into the a of 1 and temporary will go inside a of uh, min right so this is done right after this pass I will get the position 2 now min has got 2 now a of min is pointing to the third position alright now j has got i plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 3 now j is pointing a of j right this one and we will continue comparing a of j with a of min is a of j is less than a of min as yes, it is so let us change the value of min min will also get 3 now min start pointing here right so let's increment j value now j is 4 is a of j is less than a of min no is a of j is less than a of min no now a of 6 is a of j is less than a of min no is a of j is less than a of min no now also no right so after this pass now a of i value will go inside temp a of i is right a of i is a, uh, a of 2 right so a t will go here a of min will occupy a of i so 30 will occupy this and temp will go here right so this will be repeated until we get all the elements sorted so after the expiration of this for loop we will get the array sorted right so this is when i is 8 minimum is 8 and j is 8 right so this is the complete c program to implement the selection sort please take this down on your book Pause the video and start writing this program. Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Like our page on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.